Breaking right now at four on Queen City News. It has happened again. New pictures just into the newsroom of a cat's light rail car derailing off its tracks. And operators now say this is a fear for them on a daily basis. Queen City News was the first to break this story live here at noon. Let's get right out to Queen City News reporter Will Lewis live from South Charlotte near the cat's Lynx light rail receiving facility. Yeah, well, this is a scary picture for operators and passengers to see. What do we know right now? Well, Brian and Annie, it sure is. And a source close to Queen City News tells us that this derailment looks similar to the problem that caused the Scaly Bark Road derailment last year. But in a statement, a cat spokesperson says it's too early to speculate on the cause. Now, cats, according to cats, this derailment took place on Wednesday at 1135 in the morning in the south yard here at the light rail facility. The blue line train was not in service, according to the spokesperson, and was going five miles an hour when one of the trucks on the train left its natural position. The train was not in service at the time, and the incident happened as the train was being tested after routine maintenance. Since the Blue Line derailment last year, due to a faulty axle bearing, Katz has been working to fix the problem on all trains. We asked a Katz official if this was part of the repair on this train, but haven't received a response yet. One operator told us on the condition of concealing his identity, or he talked to us on in the condition of concealing his identity, and he says, Everyone operating the blue line is scared. Every day your mindset is, I hope nothing happens today. Hope I don't get suspended. I hope I don't get terminated. And that's everybody's mindset going to work every single day. Yeah, and coming up at 6, we're going to have more from that operator in our exclusive interview. And the North Carolina Department of Transportation confirms to us that their rail officials are here investigating this incident along with the CATS maintenance staff. Right now, we're live in South Charlotte. Will Lewis, Queen City News.